Welcome, I'm Russell Clegg with Keysight Technologies. I'm an application engineer for our solutions group. What I'd like to talk to you about today is our PD-1000A power device measurement system for advanced modeling. In particular, the system I want to talk about today is the B1506A power device analyzer. What we have here is the extension unit, which allows for higher currents and higher voltages necessary for power device modeling. We have the fixturing for a TO247 package. And over here, we actually have a connection for a hot plate, which can be purchased also, that allows you to characterize the devices at various temperatures, which is important to get accurate models when you're doing simulation. So we're going to close the cover here and step over to the software and show you how easy it is to use the control software to make all the measurements necessary with the B1506A for IV and CV measurements. All right, so what I have up here is the control software, which allows you to very easily control the different instruments necessary for making these measurements. So we're going to start with the IV CV measurements and the test that we're going to run here is the IDVDS test and you can see that there's very few parameters necessary that need to be set up and then you can move over here for the output characteristics of the device and set those up and once those are set and these are these data are obtained off the data sheet you can go ahead and hit start and what you'll see happening is it initializes the B1506 so you don't have to work with the B1506 directly, you can do it all through the software. And the B1506 will begin to make the measurements and automatically set up the schematic, set up the SMUs, and start characterizing the device automatically for you. When the measurement's done, the data is brought back to the control software and automatically saved in the folder that you've identified. When we move to the next test, which is for our CV measurements, we can actually select that tab turn off the one for IDVDS, and actually set up the same parameters here on the side. You see there's only a couple for capacitance measurements and the sweep for VDS here. And since these are already set up, I'll go ahead and hit the start button. And it'll do the same thing. It'll go out, take control of the B1506, set up all the parameters and SMUs as, ne as needed to allow you to make this measurement you'll see the B1506 starting to graph the results as the measurement's running and when the measurement's complete it'll actually bring all the data back to the control software here where it too will be saved in the same folder as mentioned before. One of the nice features about this software is it also has the ability to control that hot plate that I mentioned. Up here you can automatically set temperature trigger points and you can create a list of different temperatures that you want the instrument to measure your device at. So you can measure it at ambient, you can measure it at 100, you can measure it at 125 degrees C, whatever you think the operating conditions of your device are going to be when it's actually in use. So we can go ahead and set those up and set up the different parameters here. And it's that easy. The system will automatically take control and set the hot plate for each of the different measurements. I can select all tests and hit run and it will automatically gather all the data at all the different temperatures and save it so it's ready to be used in the PEMG or the Power Electronics Model Generator software which will be shown in another video. Okay, thanks for watching the video today and don't forget to stop back to see other videos on the PD-1000A system.